I am so pleased to welcome you to this special screening of A Wrinkle in Time. As many of you probably know, this movie is based on a beloved children's book, uh, the, the first line of which, funnily enough, is, it was a dark and stormy night. Um, needless to say, we are so grateful to all of you for weathering our own dark and stormy night to be here today. Um, so while the beloved children's story uh, was published in 1963, uh, believe me when I tell you the movie that you're about to see is a wrinkle in time for all time. Um, it's you know, been boldly reimagined by one of the most potent filmmakers working today, uh, whether it's Selma or 13th or uh, Queen Sugar. Um, she has proved herself to be a master storyteller. Um, and now with this movie, she has become the first woman of color to helm a movie of this magnitude and this, and this scale. The great, the game-changing, the history-making, Ava DuVernay. She said it, but you are actually the first audience in the world to see A Wrinkle in Time on a dark and stormy night. This is, this is special, this is special. Now, when you're trying to cast a mom, you want a mom that's smart, brilliant, you know, a little bit uh, stern so she can discipline you, but also someone you just want to hang out with. You want her to make you peanut butter sandwiches and teach you math and astrophysics also. So when you need all of that, you need someone extraordinary like Gugu and Batara. Come on out. You need someone like that. Mrs. Who, she speaks only in quotations, which is a really hard piece of uh, business to do in a film because you don't have a lot of lines. So you need someone who has comedic timing and who's elegant and who can bring class to a part with not a lot of words. And that was Mindy Kaling who did that for us. <laughs> yes, yes. Now this character is the youngest of the three misses. This is her first mission, as you'll see. She stumbles, she has a few problems. She just wants the other misses to give her respect and like her. You needed an actress who can do drama and comedy. Not a lot of actresses of her generation that can do both greatly, but this one can. Thank you, Reese Witherspoon. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. When you're looking for someone to play the wisest uh, being in the universe, you're just happy you have her in your speed dial because she truly is the wisest woman I know personally. I think a lot of us know. I'm just gonna stand over here as she comes out so she can have the whole stage of Miss Oprah Winfrey. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming out on this dark and stormy night. It's my first Nor'easter, I'm so excited. Um, thank you for being a part of this great experience. It's been one of the great joys and delights of my career and actually my life to be a part of this film. Uh, I started out as a friend of Ava's and then became friends with everybody up on the stage. It was one of life's great experiences. And uh, as Ava has been prone to say, that you can see love in every frame of the film. And you can see the love because we all experience love every day, working together on set, in the trailer, off, yakety yakin all the time uh, about what we were doing and uh, what we were planning on doing in scenes. And so thank you so much for supporting us. This would not be a film without its center lead, a young girl who I just have such enormous respect for, whose life is about to burst wide open once everyone sees this film. Her name is Storm Reed. She's our Ooh. golden girl, Melanie <laughs> Storm Reed. So, all right, so it's about to happen for you about to happen, the, they haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all saw it at my house a couple of weeks ago. And I had, we all had the great pleasure of watching Storm see it 
for the first time. Mm -hmm. So now you've seen it, it's, mm -hmm. it's had a time for it to sort of settle in. What are you most excited about now? Uh, I'm just excited for you guys to see it. And I feel like the movie has such a beautiful message just about embracing yourself and loving yourself and finding the light from within yourself to fight the darkness. So I'm just excited to for people to be inspired. Do you think that you actually grew some during the movie? Well, I know you grew. <laughs> you physically grew. But do you think that you learned some of that for yourself while doing the movie? I did. I, I say that me and Meg grew up together. And as, like, as a person and as an actress, I grew with you guys from just learning from you guys and just as a person, finding the light from within myself and becoming a more confident young African-American girl. Well then. <laughs> yes. So we leave you with that. We leave you with love in every frame, as Oprah said. Um, tap into the child inside you. Uh, if you're a kid, Tap into yourself. Uh, and we hope you enjoy the films made with love. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. evening. Thank you.